Hey y'all, it's a Thrifty Southerner. Back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all all had an awesome week. I had another crazy busy week. Maybe there will be one week where I will say I had a relaxing week, but it's very doubtful. All right. I did not get a chance to go to garage sales this week. We took my mother-in-law to a show. We took her to see Cats in Dallas. And so we were gone for 12 hours toto on Saturday. Uh, so no garage sales. However, I did get to go to some Goodwills here and Raise the Lord. They are no longer sending items to their e-commerce uh, site or whatever they call it. They are only sending, this is per one of the one of the stores, and then the other one did have a couple of coaches and a Michael Kors, but they were, there was something wrong with each one of them, so I assume it's all the stores in our area, are only going to be sending jewelry and instruments. I wish they weren't sending jewelry, but hey, I'm happy if they just keep some of the other nice stuff. So that is awesome. Hopefully I won't have to travel as much this winter when there's no garage sales to get good stuff for you guys. Before I get started with anything, I want to just remind you guys that Facebook's algorithm is totally wonky and I know a lot of you are not getting notified when my videos come out. I've heard a lot of other YouTubers say that. So if you want to make sure that you get my videos, first of all, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Second of all, hit that notification bell. And then third of all, I heard today that if you interact with it, so you comment, you like it. I, I don't know if it works for a thumbs down. I'd, I'd appreciate thumbs up and not a thumbs down. But anyway, if you interact with that person, it will be more likely to show up in your newsfeed. That's what I'm hearing. So, but who knows? The YouTube could change anything at any time. If you're interested in any of the items that I'm showing, you can join my Facebook group. It is a closed group. You will have to ask to join. I will approve you. And then you may ask about an item. When you ask about an item, please, please give me your state so I can tell you the price of the item and how much it's going to cost to ship it to you. And the first person to give me their email address so that I can send them a PayPal invoice will get that item. If you are not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will also leave that in the description box below. All right, now let's get started. This is a very, very small haul because it's only things that I found at the couple of thrift stores that I got a chance to go to. But I do have some good stuff, I think. I mean, what I got is good. First of all, I'm going to always start with the things that I'm keeping for myself and or my family. So first of all, I got this. I got this as a gift because it's brand new, still in the package, for one of the toddlers in our family for Christmas. It's really cute. It's a um, Melissa and Doug. They have all the nice wood toys. And it's like a little lacer for um, button match wood lacing set. And so it, it's like fine motor skills type stuff. So super cute. I believe I paid $3.99 for it. I already pulled the sticker off. And I know it retailed for more than that. So I thought that was a good deal. And then my daughter picked these out for our dogs. We do have three puppies. Well, they're not puppies. They're all grown dogs. But And so she got these little Boots and Barkley tags to put on their collars for the holidays and those were 99 cents lastly so here's the tag because i did wash these today because i was doing laundry and i always wash stuff that i get at the thrift store even if it's brand new before i wear it these were leatherette leggings here's the tag this is usually a dillard's tag i don't know if you guys have dillard's in your area but usually a tag like this here means it came from dillard's and this is one pair was 48 dollars and they're super cute. So I had been wanting to kind of step on the leatherette craze, but I really didn't want to spend a lot of money on them because I don't really know how often I'm actually going to wear a pair of leatherette leggings. We shall see. So I paid $5.49 for them, and I thought, you know what, for $5.49, brand new, and they fit super cute. They're really cute. So... They still smell kind of weird, though, even though I've washed them and let them air dry. I don't know. Anyway, it's probably just the whatever kind of fabric they're made out of or, like, whatever that stuff is. Anyway, that's it. Let me show you what I found for y'all. Back to my Goodwills now having nicer things. One of them had some purses, and one of them that was really cute, Michael Kors, and they were asking 20 bucks for it, and I was going to get it. Then I noticed that the side, it had little tabs that were rounded at the bottom. They really didn't have a purpose, but one of them had been chewed off. Like somebody's dog had probably gotten at it. 
So that was kind of a bummer because it was a really cute metallic, you know, the metallic Michael Kors purses that are like almost like plasticky. I mean, I don't think it's plastic. I think it's leather, but okay. Can you guys see the box? Tori Birch. I dropped it. Tori Birch. Gotta love some Tori. Okay, these were $20. These are brand new. 20 doll hairs. Size 6. Stunning. Now, I do realize these are more for spring. Although, I do think you could get away. If you wore a cute skirt and a chunky sweater, you could totally get away I feel was wearing these in the winter, but I mean, I'm sure they are more of a spring shoe. So pretty. See the little Tori. I love her logo. Brand new, you guys. Brand new. Here's the inside. The other ones literally still, like, I don't know if somebody got these as a gift or what, but, like, legitimately, they've never been worn. Surely, probably somebody's husband got these for their wife, and they were, like, 100% not her style. These are $400 shoes, you guys. I got them for $20. I would consider that an enormous score. Style is Multi Happy Times. Penelope 85 millimeter pump printed box calf. Again, size six. So they are little. Actually, I had bought those leatherette leggings and I had looked in the case at all the shoes and this was the one that didn't have any purses and I didn't see anything. And then I was checking out and the case was like, She's checking me out, and the back of the case that's open, like, to her side was, like, here. And I could see the Tory Burch box, and I was like, how did I miss that? So, I went back through the line and bought those afterwards. Okay. And then the only other thing that I have, but I do have one other thing to show you guys. So, don't hurry away after I show this, because there's one other thing that I did a clean out of and before I post them on Poshmark I'm going to post them tomorrow I wanted to give you guys a chance if anybody was interested in them so stay tuned for that okay next thing I believe I paid uh like 13 for this it is an UGG purse super cute like um sweater I guess you would say. It's like a sweater material. Yeah. Um, do you want me to, do you want to do the Bakugan in the video? Uh, Show them? Sure. Okay. Bring them up here. So here is the sweater. I mean, the is a sweater. The purse. It's, it is an UGG brand. I can't remember if I said that because my daughter just asked me a question. Um, it's in great condition. Fuzzy sweater the sweater material is looking kind of raggedy on camera but it really doesn't I don't feel like it looks like that so it's super cute I can always post pictures on my on the um, Facebook page so there's a, that and I have a little darling here named Hartley who wanted to show her Bakugan we also got these at the thrift store so she got she was so excited about this, you guys. This entire package of these Bakugans for um, two ninety nine. Yeah, they they came with the cards, and they also uh, come with like these weird. Here, show. I don't know how. Uh, okay. So there's these, which apparently, whenever you put this on. Uh, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. There's a little metal part somewhere. I don't know where it is. Aha, I found it. It's right there. And whenever you stick it on, it does this. It opens. Wait, this is the wrong one. Some of them don't really open all the way, like this. So cute. And then it came with the card. So she was super excited about that. We wanted to make sure we showed that in our haul. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Last thing I want to show you guys is these. Okay, so 
as you guys know, we downsized. We moved into a camper. It is a very large fifth wheel, but we are tiny living now. And I have three pair of, like, riding boots. I have a black pair. I have a dark brown pair that I love that are quilted. They're beautiful. And then I have this pair that I bought that I have only worn a handful of times. And I love Tory Burch so, so much. And sometimes I just keep stuff because... It's Tory Burch, and these are actually a size 10, which is really too big for me. I wear a 9 or a 9.5, and actually, in boots, for whatever reason, I can wear an 8.5. I think both of my other pair of riding boots are 8.5s. I don't know why, but anyway, so these are big, and I don't wear them, and they're gorgeous, but I don't wear them. I go for my other two pair of riding boots. So let me show these to you guys. I actually got these at a consignment store. Some years ago, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, I traded for credit at a consignment store a Louis Vuitton. Like, like when I first started doing YouTube videos, like very soon after. And so I had a, a credit, and so I got a lot of stuff from there. And I got these, and they are stunning. They are the Amanda boot. And look at what good shape they're in. Like, I'm serious. I have barely worn them. I've probably worn them five times in the last couple of years. So there's a little bit of wear at the edge of the toe underneath, right? But I mean, look at them. They're beautiful. So beautiful. They do need to be polished. I'm noticing they have a couple of scuffs. So I will polish them up before I send them out, should anybody be interested. This one doesn't have many scuffs. And what I can see is scuffing on camera, I can't really see in person. So, But anyway, they are in such good shape because I've barely worn them. And the person that had them before me had barely worn them. So, if anyone is interested in these, I will be selling these. So, these will be for sale as well. Like I said, I will be posting them on Poshmark. I anticipate that they'll sell really quickly because I did look them up and um, they sell fast if they're priced right on there. If they're priced under $175, which they will be and they'll be much less for anyone of my subscribers who wants to purchase them directly from me because I won't have to pay any kind of commission. All right, you guys, that is it. If anybody's mad that I'm selling those, go ahead and give a thumbs down because last week, for whatever reason, I had like seven thumbs down and I don't know why. I don't know if it was because that Louis Vuitton, I didn't know if it was authentic or not. I stated I didn't know if it was authentic or not. I was pretty sure it was. So whatever got up everybody's butt, yes, last week, if it's up your butt again, feel free to give me a thumbs down because it helps my channel anyway. All right, you guys. Sorry. They get a little sassy out there. I appreciate you guys so much. I want you to know that. I want you to know that I enjoy finding things. I enjoy a win-win situation here where I make some money and you guys also get great deals on stuff. I mean, let's be honest. I price this stuff really reasonably. And if you get on Poshmark at all, you know that that's true. So, if anybody has butthurt about it, I'm sorry. Don't watch my videos, okay? But to you guys that love my videos, thank you. I love you, and I'm so glad you're here. All right. I'll step off my soapbox now and let you guys go. And I also said something about a Dollar Tree video a couple of weeks ago that I was going to do with my daughter. And I went to edit it and realized that she was literally blowing bubbles with her bubble gum the entire time. So we are, that will not be, <laughs> that will not be coming out, just so you know. But uh, I will be trying to do a, um, I still want to try to get by TJ Maxx and show you guys what's on clearance there. But we'll see what happens. All right. Anyway, have a great week. And until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.